All right, chip of the day. People love chip of the day. We're going to be doing an old oldie, a Harris Semiconductor HA5190. And it's a, a really big op amp. <laughs> uh, it's a fast one, 150 megahertz. But it's uh, the ones that I got are in this weird uh, metal can, okay? And, uh, but not many pins are used. <laughs> uh, so uh, it just takes uh, plus and minus voltage and two ins and one out. So that's all there is. Uh, lots of pins that are not used. All right. Um, so uh, I took one of them, this one here in particular. <laughs> uh, you can sort of see the, you can sort of see the, whoa, sort of see all the legs. All the leg, oops, all the legs going around the package, and uh, I ground the top off of this one, and we'll put it under the microscope. Okay, so there is just I, I expected actually I actually expected this chip to have external components to the IC, maybe some capacitors or uh, other things, right? Sometimes they bond in diodes or other types of things. Sometimes it's two chips on one. When you're using such a big package, you think maybe there's more stuff under there, but there's not. Um, just the one die and uh, yeah, bipolar design. It's got lots of stuff in it and that's uh, about, it's just fun. It's just fun looking at these things. There's a copyright and a mask, mask copyright on them. And looks like a fun part. I say we uh, go back to the lab and wire one up, see what it can do. All right, we're gonna use one of the <clears throat> circuits in the back here, just for fun. Uh, let's go ahead and use this one, it's easy. <laughs> uh, a 1K resistor in, a 1K resistor feedback. You could put it with a load or not a load, doesn't matter, but this one's got a 200, uh, 200 ohm load. Um, and, uh, Here's the input and here's the output. And what we're going to be measuring is we're going to be measuring slew rate. And the slew rate is specified as one of the selling points here. Uh, these devices are capable of delivering 200 volts per microsecond slew rate with a settling time of 70 nanoseconds. Um, so these days, those things might be a little slow, but uh, 200, yeah, 200 microvolts. Um, so, uh, what we're going to do is set it up over here. All right. So I have, uh, the device in there. It's wired up. It's got some bypass caps on it. Uh, it's got an input. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at input versus output basically. So let's take a look at what we got over here. Let me change the scope or change the uh, exposure here so everybody can see things. All right, let's uh, brighten up some things. Let's do that and let's do that. All right, that looks a little nicer. Okay, so this is the input over here. Uh, it's stepping and going. So if I, if I go out, it's just square wave. Okay. And let's zoom back in so we can see that edge really nice. Um, and then over here, we're going to be measuring the output. So this is the output. And here is the slew rate. So you can see this is faster than the output over here. So we can measure slew rate. It's not limited by the input. And we can turn on the slew measurement. And down here, we can read volts per second, it's actually megavolts per second. And you go megavolts per second. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. So the data sheet says volts per microsecond. Micro is 10 to the minus six. Mega is 10 to the six. If you have a negative six in the denominator and you move it to the numerator, it turns into a positive six. So these are the same units megavolts per second and volts per microsecond are the same measurement. So we have 246 megavolts per second or volts per microsecond. So it is me making well over the data sheet. So uh, yeah, it's zooming along there. So that works out good. 
All right. One thing I wanted to point out is this is a bipolar op amp, bipolar, which means it's going to get hot. <laughs> and so we have uh, 18 milliamps on the negative rail and we have 21 milliamps on the positive rail. All right, let's measure how warm this thing gets. Uh, case temperature is 42 C. 42 C. There's a little white tag on there that's, yeah, you have to ignore that white tag, but I can put the crosshairs wherever I want to measure. So like over here, it's measuring 29C. And on the actual part, it's measuring 44C. So it gets toasty. All right, that was chip of the day. A uh, HA5190.